He's reached the summit of Snowdon, taken on the world's fastest zip wire, and now Jason Liversidge is preparing for his next challenge, abseiling off the Humber Bridge. It's my new mother. At least I don't have to climb on the head. So I always be up there. I imagine a bit like getting out of bed in the morning. I always be up over the edge and away we go. Going to see the point that we're abseiling off last week and looking over those railings, my heart was absolutely in my mouth, yeah. It's a scary thought, really. Jason was diagnosed with motor neuron disease in 2013. Since then, he's been fundraising for charities and for his family. In July, Whoa. Jason used a specially adapted wheelchair to climb Snowdon. It took more than seven hours, exhausting for him and his team. For his Humber Bridge challenge, he's enlisted the help of firefighters. Some of them helped record their voices for Jason, so that when he loses the ability to talk and has to use a computerised voice, he'll still have a Yorkshire accent. Jason will abseil from the footpath on the east side of the Humber Bridge. He'll have to be hoisted over the rail before being dropped into this field below. And when he gets here, he'll be greeted by family and friends who are organising a special charity day. It's a high-risk activity. Our job has been logistically to look at how we can facilitate the abseil and obviously assist Jason to get over the handrail um, with his disability um, to allow him to enjoy the experience. Obviously Jason is severely disabled and I think for him it's a personal challenge but it also shows us other people that you know somebody like Jason can do it, they can do it. Everybody's worked really hard to try and give you uh, the home uh, that you need. Last night so. Jason's story was featured on DIY SOS when Nick Knowles and the team adapted the family home. It was recorded in 2014 and since then Jason's condition has deteriorated hugely. But with 50 metres of bridge to tackle on Sunday, he's determined to take his challenges to new heights. Victoria Holland, BBC Look North.